Hey, it's me, Destin. Welcome back to Smarter Every Day. So you're probably wondering, if you've been watching the Amazon series, how I took an ink pen, a little scrap of paper, and a camera into the middle of the jungle and walked out with footage of ants carrying a little sign that says Smarter Every Day. It's actually pretty simple and gross. You pee on the paper. I know, sounds a little weird, but you gotta realize that leafcutter ants forage for sodium. But before I show you how exactly we did this and you get to see us make the video, I want to show you a leafcutter ant colony during the daytime. And then we'll go back and check out the same colony at night. You're getting smarter every day. This whole area is a colony, is that what you call it? Yeah. Um, these colonies are known to just be giant. They're farming ants, so they take in those leaves that grow fungus on it. So they have to tend to that fungus very, very regularly. So the smaller ones, they really ride on the leaf and they clean the leaf. And they also protect the carrion ant from any decapitating flies that are in the area. Really? Yep. Serious? Mm -hmm. They clean the leaf on the way to the colony? Yeah, so one guy's, like a bigger ant will be carrying it, and the little cleaner ant will be on top there protecting it and cleaning it from any fungus or any crazy stuff that may be on the leaf. Awesome. That is rad. There are millions of ants inside this colony, so this is one of several entrances probably one of their main highways that they use to go and collect leaves. I'm also told they have one of the most complex social structures. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Um, I mean, down to the finest of details, even like the ants that go out and cut, um, once they get old, maybe like three months old and they can't cut as well, then they become carrying ants. So they kind of retire as a leaf cutter and then they become a leaf carrier. These are leaf cutter ant trails. They look like people trails, but they're not. Uh, one way you can tell if you get really close, you see next to them, you see all the little cut, cut leaves. Um, so you can see some of them are starting to come out a little bit. So I bet you if we came back in a few hours, they would have uh, come out and go for the trees. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut out little pieces of paper and we're going to put some uh, salty liquid onto a piece of paper. We're thinking that it will entice them, but we gotta find out. Put your headlamp on the leaf. There you go. There we go. Sound of science. There you go. All right. So what do you wanna do first? I've got the worst smarter everyday one, and uh, I got it wet on the back side so it doesn't quite. All right, so, so it doesn't bleed. <laughs> Let's try this. Ready? Right. You want me to hold? Uh -huh. He's not in the most leafy area, so I can put him right here. Yeah. You want my pliers? What do we need? Uh, that's probably it. I wonder if we need a uh, bigger. Can we make it bigger? Focus wasn't perfect. So that's it. And that's how you get leaf cutter ants to carry your sign. Special thanks to Mr. Torres here. Of course. Entomologist. He's the guy that came up with the idea. Worked well. All right. That's it. Get smarter every day. These guys aren't playing nice anymore going for my face. And imagine that getting bit by ants. Wouldn't have saw that coming. So this one's too big, so of course leaf cutter ants are cutting it, which is still pretty cool. Found him. <laughs> yeah. He's about 20 yards away. 